How is everybody today? Today we are playing a new game. Uh, I, I took to Facebook and I, I wanted to know what people wanted to watch on my channel. And uh, Ghost Father uh, wanted to see The Bird's Tale. You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well. Where shall we begin? Okay. <laughs> I have never played this game, so... Bear with me if if uh, if there's some uh, learning curve or something. Uh, we're we're just gonna go difficulty normal because, like I said, I've never played. Dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage Let's with ranged weapons. Shopkeepers will offer these two right here, to the bard and we'll just continue. Charisma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I kinda like, uh, crit strike. Gives the bard a chance to score a critical hit on his enemies, inflicting additional damage. Okay, let's go with that. That it sounds... come to this at last. One man, a poet and a okay. rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing, should it come to that. Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. Okay. <laughs> this game on Steam. It has Bard's Tale 1, 2, and 3. And as far as I know, this is You've made a one. mistake in coming here. Maybe to not know he is, We need to know where he is from. And to know that, we've got to begin elsewhere. Okay, fair enough. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue. An eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law. Come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Oh, there's my familiar. Chapter one. Houghton? Ah, a rat! A rat! No. You drunken lots. Get off your backsides and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. He's the Barney Stinson of this world. Oh, what a strapping man you are to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hurt, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? See, I've okay. an idea. <laughs> if you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle oh, anything oh, you'd like to this guy's a perv. my way. <laughs> then it's a deal. <laughs> For it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. Okay. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. <sighs> oh, and uh, my sword is quite big enough to handle any <laughs> troubles you might have. Oh, good. Uh. Oh god, it's inversed. It's inversed. No, maybe not. F to speak for here. someone who says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you were afraid, you can tell me. I'm not afraid. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further. Oh. But you can tell me. Okay. 
I see. And then the bar hit some, the chest which some contained chanting the, in the back most there. precious. Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chess. Yeah. And they never seem to object when I help myself. Yeah. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it <laughs> took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is this is gonna kill me. <laughs> Take that barrel. Okay, we'll go downstairs. <laughs> We're gonna break all of the barrels. What is that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, good. Okay. So it looks like there's some precision required. Uh, <laughs> not the greatest at precision. There we go. All the barrels must die. Okay. Space is blocked. Okay. What's what's this? Huh? Oh hi, rats. That's it? Quest <laughs> complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. <laughs> oh hi. Hi. <laughs> That is a big rodent. Oh my god. The bard, finding himself wreathed in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safety of the tavern. Okay. I can do that. Just leaving a flame trail. Oh god. Why was that rat spitting fire? I, I just don't know. Nicely done, or is that well done? <laughs> Not well done, more like medium rare. I was actually gonna say that joke. Now we'll have another go at him with this. Okay. <laughs> you better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next. Okay. Oh, good. The camera shifted. I like that. Don't like this. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna save that. Uh, override. Replace previous. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now let's go fight this. This road. Where'd you come from? Who the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie. Don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Okay. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Okay. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. Nice. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. So do yourself a favor and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you've got. Okay. 
You too. Oh, thunder or something? I didn't get to Before read it. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. Would you like me to teach you a few wee things that will help you get the best of any foes you might encounter? That might be nice. <laughs> I think I'm going to regret this. But I'll humor you, old man. Good job, lad. You already know how to attack, but let's talk about defending yourself. Press the defend key. What? What are you on about? You're completely insane, aren't you? Space. You know, I ran into this Space. other guy once. He kept talking about mice I couldn't see. Now I'm blocking pretend blows. I hope you appreciate what I'm going through here and reward me sufficiently. That was great, boy -o. You'll notice that instead of holding down the key, you'll have to time your defense to the enemy's attack. Of course I have to time it. How else am I going to block anything? Now, laddie, let's teach you how to play that loot of yours and make yes. some magic. What? Yes. Does my name not mean anything to you? The Bard? Did you not see me summon that rat a few moments ago? Press the summon menu key. You're not listening to a word I'm saying, <laughs> are you? Um. You'll see several three. choices. These are the different types of beasties you'll eventually be able to summon. For now, let's summon that spider I taught you about. D. Hey. That was useful at least. Finally. This part is important, so listen up, Levy. The creatures that you summon aren't under your complete control. But they will try to do what you wish to the best of their ability. Try to give them orders using the command keys. For example, press the aggressive key to make your little friend there become more aggressive. Okay. Up arrow. Attack! Ah, you're getting the hang of things now, aren't you, lad? <laughs> you can experiment with different uses of the command keys to develop your own strategies. Now, at times, you may want to get rid of a creature you've summoned. Simply go back into the same menu you've summoned him from and select him again. That's the way to get rid of an unwanted creature. Okay, so it'd be... 3DA. Okay. Great. Does that trick work on you as well? Good luck against the rat, my boy. <laughs> Let's take on this rat. In the future, I'm going to have to learn how to dodge these mysterious old man types. I don't know if this is the first game. Doesn't seem like it. They keep making references that I'm not aware of. <laughs> 3 D A. Charge! Charge! That was that was uh, an All easy thing. Hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who's bravely made the. How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronizing <laughs> to me, okay? Three <laughs> D. Can I pick anything up from uh, this guy? Possibly, possibly, probably not. Okay, we'll just go back to uh, over here. I'm rather low on health. What was it? It was. Oh, okay, maybe not. Well, let's just save. <laughs> go back up the stairs. Again, did you go back to where you came from and leave the fight into those who've got the guts for it? We f we fought it. I've plenty of guts, my lady, which is why you needn't trouble yourself about that rat any longer. You mean it's dead? Oh, thank you. 
I can't tell you how grateful I am. Sorry if you hear people shouting outside my window. For a damsel in distress. It never now, fails. How about that meal? Why don't you wait while I fix you some leftovers? Oh, and your room in the back is almost ready. Oh, thank you. The next morning. Having spent a lonely night in a somewhat uncomfortable and shabby bed, the bard awoke the next morning in a foul humor. Why? You should go speak with that strange friend of yours. He was starting to scare away my regular customers. I had to chase him out. Creepy old man, not my friend. But we'll we'll go talk to him anyway. What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Yep. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. And should you be looking for another one like it, find the trow in the fairy haunt woods. But keep your wits about you. They're devilish clever, the trow. Okay. With magic by the pound, and not a single scrap of honesty. Mmm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for trow. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. What's a little danger when compared to power? Didn't that little trick I showed you help you get in good with the Widow McCrary? If it's a skin you're worried about... Probably. ...a trinket here that'll keep you safe from harm. This amulet was made by a powerful sorceress. It can summon her spirit to heal your wounds in battle. Oh, good. You'll need adder stones to provide the necessary mystical power. If you like... What happened to your arm? For even greater effect. Dear laddie, He's missing an arm. Out. Or half an arm. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I didn't pay you. I guess first time three. Who is she? She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man. And, uh, what were you saying about her trail? Find him in the fairy haunt woods. Bannerfeet be his name. He can teach you magic enough to impress any lass. Okay. Oh, five of them. Awesome. And I think that's going to be it about it for today, guys. Uh, if you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like down below. And, I mean, you might as well subscribe while you're at it, too. It really does help my channel out quite a bit. Uh, if you want to see more, let's, let's see those likes. <laughs> I might as well heal. Since she didn't really heal me. <laughs> um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I enjoyed it. I'm. I feel like I may have wasted that. Oh well. Can I save again? Yes. Good. Okay. <laughs> now I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.